All right, so <clears throat> actually, I don't. So I set this base up with some C4. Okay, wait a minute. I didn't. I didn't set them back down though, since I I'd have to replace them. But I got uh, one, two, and three broadcasters set up. So three broadcasters, you need three C4, and uh, what was uh, that set at 10, so that's got to be set at 10. That's so that you can control the switch on and off with that. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, let's get some C4 real quick. I'm going to show you something. Do, 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 do. Something you can have some fun with here in Rust. Alright, so we're going to drag one down, we're going to put this one as one, because that is the first broadcaster. So that's going to be the first door that we want whenever they come to raid. Uh, set your roofs up higher, so that when you set your HB sensors up there, the C4 is not going to destroy it, so you don't have to keep wiring stuff up. So just throw that against the wall somewhere around there. Do number two for the second broadcaster. That there. And then number three. You can do as many of these as you want, uh, but we're just going to do three for now. Just to give you, a, you know, an insight. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Forgot to set that. There we go. This is it's the only other thing you'll have to uh, reheal your doors and stuff. Okay, so the switch is off, so we can run in and out. It's not going to blow up. If I turned it on, that C4 would blow up and we would die. So this is good for setting up. If you uh, say you're getting ready to go farm. We're going to leave this door open just for showing you. Okay, so say you went off to farm, set your trigger. So now your C4 is active. So if somebody came to raid you, you're gone or say maybe you're in your base. Just hang back, let them do their thing. The good thing about it, it's not going to blow your C4 up with any rockets or anything. So they blow it up. Now, once he enter, when when he enters that door, he's going to die. So when he's getting ready, boom, he's dead. It's over with. And if he's got a partner come running in. And he goes to try to continue. They got it. You got a third door. And if you want to have a fourth and a fifth and a sixth, so every door they go through, they're just going to get blowed up and die. And then he enters. He's dead. So that's what's good about this. Set this up. And then it'll also buy you time to run back out if you're here and set your door back down, you know. And get your C4 laid back out. So that's uh, it's a pretty good uh, neat trick to that. So if you're wondering how that's wired up. Let's get into that real quick. I'll show you. So you just need you some batteries. Uh, preferably medium sized batteries. And like I said. Broadcasters for each C4. And be sure you have them in order. Of what door you have it. And, um, so for this, you want to set your, um, uh, memory, you want this going into the memory cell, you want it to go into the, the toggle section. And then for the power in, of course, uh, battery, or I got it connected from, I got a battery going into the splitter, and then the splitter going into here. So as long as it has power, 
but this you want it to be on the toggle and then a battery for the power and then you want the uh, left side here which is the inverted output into the on switch of the switch so that way you can turn it on or off and be sure that this is set to the same frequency as that on off and then of course the switch is going to go into the splitter and the splitter is going to go into the HB sensors so you'll run that into the HB sensors and the HB sensors will run into the broadcasters and that's basically all it is that's all you need and then once you got that set up just take your C4 and layer C4 however you want to do it and that's it